Hey, Sag. I hope you are doing well. No matter where you are in the world, I hope you know just how prosperous you are. So, Sagittarius, I'm going to begin with the tarot, and then I'm going to clarify that energy using the oracle. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Mm, you got the devil. So I feel like there is something that is being made official. Hmm. Like something is here to stay. Someone is here to stay. What happens after the devil? You have the ace of swords. I feel like somebody wants to tell you the truth about something or you want to tell the truth about something. Open up about something, about how you feel. It has a lot to do with how you feel connected to something, but someone may not like this. Someone may, may not like what you have to say or you may not like what someone has to say. Someone feels like they cannot win for losing. What happens after the five of swords? Hmm. What happens after the Five of Swords? So someone feels like they must come up with a new idea or go in a different direction. After there's a conversation after after there's a conversation being had, this could be a difficult conversation, Sage. Hmm. This conversation has a lot to do with what someone did behind someone's back. And I see these two people back here. So I'm getting there's someone in your energy that has done something behind either your back or someone's or multiple people's back, not just yours or or not just um someone else's, but multiple people. What happens after the three of the three of wands? Hmm. You have the ace of wands. So there's an idea, Sagittarius, that you have, and this most definitely is going to work out, but it requires for you to put in action towards it in order to uh, create this opportunity for you. There's an opportunity for you to put an idea that you have into action. There's an opportunity for you to go in a different direction, Sag. What happens after the Ace of Wands? So you could be physically moving in a different direction as well. What happens after the Ace of Wands? You have strength, yeah. And this could have something to do with a relationship. This could have something to do with your career or with some type of creativity. Hmm. There could be a child, some type of pregnancy here. Someone is finding out about a pregnancy. Hmm. Wow. I feel like if this is uh, dealing with a pregnancy, someone is very happy to hear about this. Okay, I see someone having a, a very smooth pregnancy, a very healthy pregnancy, okay? There's a child being born into a very happy family. This uh, child um, completes this family. Then I see the King of Cups. Someone is overjoyed. Someone is overjoyed about a connection, about a child, about a relationship. Like someone feels a strong connection in a relationship. Hmm. Someone left something behind for this relationship. Yeah, because it's showing up as a star. Someone feels like um, they have their wish fulfillment or they're going after their wish fulfillment. This King of Cups is highly attracted <laughs> to this person. This person could definitely be you, Sagittarius. You could be connected to a Leo, a Capricorn, an Aquarius. It's showing up here. What happens after the star? Someone feels like they're getting exactly what they want in a connection or in a family situation. What happens after the star? See the empress. Hmm. Let's get one more. What happens after the empress? Queen of Cups. 
Yeah, someone feels like they've met their match and you're their other half. You feel like you've met your match. There could be news of some type of engagement. There could also be a physical trip or vacation I'm getting here that is going to be very fulfilling, very emotionally fulfilling. Someone is learning a lot through a relationship, through a connection that they have. Yeah, because this is a couple sitting here. This King of Cups, Queen of Cups energy. Like someone feels like they've met their person or, you know, they're with their person or they want to be with a certain person. Uh, someone is their other half. Someone completes them. Like someone brings out the best qualities within them. Someone has learned a lot about their emotions due to a romantic connection or a child or a pregnancy or a family situation. Let's go ahead and get some signs, you guys. You have Cancer Pisces. Someone is dreaming about you, thinking about you nonstop. You have Capricorn. You have Sagittarius. You have Aquarius. You have Taurus. Hmm. And you have Cancer and Pisces. Make sure y'all drop me a comment down below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up and share this video. You have Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aquarius. Someone definitely feels like they have their wish fulfillment or they want to go after their wish fulfillment. And someone feels like they want to like lock something in or make something official. They don't want just a fantasy, okay? I see this uh, moon... Um, these two moons with Taurus in between, like someone doesn't just want, you know, the, the fantasy or just the dreams. Like they want to make something official here with this Taurus energy. Let's get your soul's journey. The Sagittarius needs to know at this time you have guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So Sagittarius, I see that you could be getting rid of any truths that don't align with you with this Ace of Swords. Any truths that doesn't align with you anymore because you have this Five of Swords and the devil. The devil is obsessive, okay? The devil can become obsessive. The devil can cling to things that aren't good for them, okay? Anyone can have this energy. The devil can cling to things that aren't, aren't good for them. And with the Five of Swords, this can create a lot of conflict. Okay, a lot of insecurities. Okay, um, just uh, making the wrong decisions. I see with these swords. So I, f I feel like with this with this guilt card, uh, Sagittarius, you're removing anything that doesn't align with you now. Okay, because you have the Ace of Swords and the and the Ace of Wands. You've leveled up. Okay, you've leveled up mentally. You've me you've leveled up in your actions. It's like you're 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 making different decisions to get different results. So you're letting go of any beliefs or anything that, that doesn't align with you anymore. Anything that, that, that you don't believe in anymore. You don't have to continue to believe in things that don't make sense to you. Okay, so I'm getting this could have a lot to do with your past, a lot to do with your childhood. I did see the Ten of Cups um, peek through. So this could have something to do with your roots, okay, your family, okay, your family history, okay. So um, I just feel like you're you're no longer feeling guilty about not thinking how others think, not doing what others do. It says, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my, in my soul's growth. So your soul's growth is going to look different from the next person. Okay, why is guilt here for Sage? You have purpose. Look at that. I know what I am here to do. Because this guilt, it's, it's no reason for you to carry this guilt, Sagittarius, within you. If it doesn't align with your purpose. Something doesn't align with your purpose anymore. It just doesn't. Something that you once believed in. And this could have something to do with um, religion. This could have something to do with your community here with this Taurus energy, with the moon. Because I do see some type of illusion around a marriage, around a family, around some type of commitment, okay, around a job as well. 
Hmm. Or somebody religious, somebody religious um, or somebody very um, prominent in, in the community. So something is dealing with your purpose, okay? I feel like you're no longer feeling guilty about your purpose, about the path in which you are headed. And I did see the Eight of Cups because I, I do feel like, Sagittarius, you're leaving something behind that doesn't serve you. And you're going towards this wish fulfillment. You're going towards this star. You're going, you're going towards what is most fulfilling for you. Okay, why is purpose here? Why is purpose here for Sag? You have relationships, okay? It says, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Someone feels like you bring out the best in them, Sagittarius. You bring out the best in somebody. You are cherished in a relationship or in multiple relationships. And I did see the Ten of Cups picking out with, with strength and the Ace of Wands. It's something about how you show up in your relationships. There is a purpose that you have in, in the relationships in your life that you're currently for, uh, fulfilling or you're headed to fulfill. But someone feels like you bring out the best in them. Someone feels like you serve their higher good. You want the best for them. And I do see this King of Cups, Queen of Cups energy with this star. And that has a lot to do with healing. So I feel like there is a relationship or a connection, Sagittarius, that you play a major part in when it comes to healing. Why is relationships here? Why is relationships here for Sag? You have courage. Wow. So um, this role, Sagittarius, that you play, and it's not necessarily you playing a role. It's you being you, but it's still a certain role that you have that is uniquely yours, that is aligned with your purpose. It takes courage because re regardless of this role, regardless of your purpose, regardless of the changes that you made, regardless of anything positive that is happening in your life, you're still a human being, Sagittarius. So this is going to require courage Hmm. because I do see the five of swords here. So there was some type of betrayal. And I see like someone's admitting something. Someone is, is admitting the truth. And this truth may not be an easy truth to handle. Someone is realizing that they've been defeated, that they've been, been lied to, that they've been uh, betrayed in a certain situation. And it, it has a lot to do with the relationship. It has a lot to do with the connection. So the truth has come out about a connection, about what has happened behind the scenes in a connection. The truth is out. And there is no denying it. There is no hiding this. You have a false person. So someone feels guilty. Someone feels guilty. I feel like Sagittarius, you could feel guilty for um, lending your time or sharing your time with someone who wasn't being truthful with you. Someone was wearing a mask. This person could feel guilty, but it's only this. It's only because the truth has come out. I feel that this person feels guilty. I feel like this person is trying to come up with another idea or a different strategy, whether this is with you or with, with someone else or other people. I feel like this person has been wearing this, wearing this mask, uh, dealing with other people. Like someone see, saw you as an opportunity with this ace of swords. Someone saw you as an opportunity to use their words, to connect with you. Yeah. And with this number eight, Sagittarius, I feel like this was done behind the scenes. I feel like this, I feel like this was some, this was some type of darker energy. Why is false person here? Why is false person here? You have a mature woman. So this false person could be a mature woman. Or there's a false person that is that was not being truthful with a mature woman. And I feel like this mature woman could be you, Sagittarius. This mature woman, mature man. If this is you, Sagittarius, I feel like there's something that you saw, you saw through, okay? Like someone didn't expect for you to like catch on. And I feel like regardless of this, you dealing with some type of false person or persons have caused you to become more mature and more wise when it comes to this type of energy. When it comes to um, realizing whether or not someone is wearing a mask, 
whether or not someone is being truthful. And I feel like you saw through something. I feel like there's a conversation. Like someone is being called out. Someone has been called out. And someone realizes that you're mature. What happens after a mature woman? You have change. Look at that. So you could be moving, okay? You could be physically moving, packing your things and moving. Okay, you have eight, six, and nine. These numbers could be significant. There, there's a major change, Sagittarius, within you, within your surroundings as well, within your relationships. Someone close to you uh, could be relocating. I see this number nine, or there is a spiritual change here with the number nine. This is your number in astrology, Sagittarius. So I feel like this change is going to create an opportunity for you in your relationships. What happens after change? Why is change here for Sag? Why is change here for Sag? This, this change requires for you to have courage as well. Someone definitely feels guilty for um, being a false person with you, not telling you the truth when they needed to tell you the truth. And you have gift here with courage. So there's a gift. And I feel like there's a positive change. You have the star twice. Number 17 is uh, affiliated with the star card, which is Aquarius energy. It's something dealing with you learning a lesson, with you healing something. You have to have a certain level of courage in order to heal. And I feel like you have that. You have that courage. You have that strength here with the Ace of Wands, with strength and the King of Cups. Someone sees you as very, very healing. Like you're a gift to somebody. You change someone's world. You change someone's life. I see someone could be packing up and following you. Like someone is packing up, but they're they're going with you or they're, they're wanting to join you or visit you. Someone could be helping you pack your things. I feel like there could also be like a vacation. If there isn't a move, there is like some type of vacation or trip that is going to be very, very healing. Hmm. Someone wants to give you something because of your courage. You're definitely a gift to someone because of your courage, because of the changes that you've made, because of how you show up in your relationships. You change, you change uh, the people that you come in contact with dealing with your relationships. It says, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. You create change, Sagittarius. Wow, beautiful. Someone has a gift for you. Someone wants to offer you a gift or, or offer you something that is delightful. Hmm. Let's get some love messages. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? You have a honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Yeah, I feel like someone could be wanting to join you or you're wanting to join someone or you could be hearing of a marriage or, you know, of, of a couple that has come together. And I feel like this could be a couple that uh, people may not have expected to like be together. Let's see. You have soulmate. <laughs> yes, this is your soulmate. I feel like someone has um has found the person or feel like they have met the person that they're meant to be with, that they're meant to travel with, that they're meant to heal with and, you know, um experience life with. Like someone feels like they have a soulmate connection with someone and someone could be ready to make something official. Uh, someone could be ready to, you know, um physically, mentally, spiritually make changes. Wow. What happens if the soulmate could be connected to a Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Leo is showing up here heavy. It could be any sign, but these are the signs that are pulling strongly. And you have a past life relationship. You have known each other before. Like someone feels very connected to you, Sagittarius. Someone feels connected to someone. I feel like there is also a relationship that you could see. Um, you may not even be speaking on this because it's not uh, your it may, it's not your purpose. It's not it's, it may not be your place, but you may see that there is a, a couple or somewhere someone around you, a couple around you that is literally meant to be together. Um, but there may be challenges happening. OK, and it's not meant for you to point them out in the situation. Yeah, because I feel like there is a change in a relationship. Something is happening in a relationship. Hmm. Someone has met their soulmate. I feel like someone could be like running from their soulmate. If this isn't you, this is someone that you know. Like someone is running from their soulmate, or uh, there's someone who's running from some something, some type of um, 
connection some type of healing connection that is going to heal them okay it has a lot to do with past lives it has a lot to do with something that was unhealed in the past life okay what happens after past life You have playfulness. And it says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So if you are in a connection, okay, and you have been focused on, you know, healing, on, you know, some type of stability here with the Empress and the Emperor energy, between the King of Cups and Queen of Cups, it may be time for um, it to be a little bit of fun, a little bit of play, okay? There, there needs to be balance, okay? I do see change with relationships. So there is something that does need to change regarding a relationship, and it has a lot to do with playfulness it has a lot to do with not taking things so seriously that you forget to live your life let's get one more let's see what happens after playfulness what happens after playfulness for sage okay you have children those are the children coming out here it says your love life is being affected by children okay this could have something to do with your childhood your upbringing or it could have something to do with a child being born or uh, someone is learning of a pregnancy learning learning of a of, of a pregnancy of a child or something dealing with a family situation, like a family is growing, okay, and I see honeymoon, so someone's family could be could be growing, there could be a blended family, or there could be a marriage, or there could be a new relationship, or new friends, uh, I just see something growing, and with playfulness here, I just feel like it's a positive change, uh, someone could be expecting a son here, especially with this strength card, someone could be expecting a son. And the number three and four could be significant as well. Three, four, and five. Let's go ahead and get some hidden truth. What does Sagittarius need to know about this other energy here? I see the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. And I, I definitely see that there's two sides to this. Let's see. You came closer than anyone. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like someone um, wants to make something official or someone doesn't want to let something go because you came closer than anyone has. Like someone doesn't have these memories or these experiences with anyone else besides you. Let's see. Whatever those experiences are, Sagittarius, only you and them know. It says, we both know I'm not the one for you. Wow, someone feels like they aren't good enough for you. But you came close to them than anyone else has. So I feel like there are a lot of insecurities. And I do see this five of swords. So something does really require trust with this ace of swords and courage. Because someone is having some type of insecurities regarding a connection. Regardless of how close a connection is. Let's get another. Finding out the truth crushed me. Wow. And there's that truth coming out. Yeah, I feel like someone is going back and forth about the closeness that you and them share. Like, they know that you and them are very close, but um, they feel like, you know, you and them aren't meant to be together. Or it's, it's like one minute they feel like it, and the next minute they don't. It says, finding out the truth crushed me. So there was definitely some type of truth that came out that, you know, that broke these chains here. Wow. With this devil card, they broke these chains. And I feel like something requires courage to move forward with if it's going to, um, if it's going to move forward, um, if there would be a relationship that is moving forward together, okay, there it, it does require patience and some type of changes need to be made here in a relationship in order to receive some type of gift. Hmm. Let's get one more. I want to be more than friends. So there's someone here who doesn't want to just be, you know, in a platonic connection with you. They want to have something deeper. They want to have a romantic connection. I do see this strength card, this Leo energy, very heavy uh, romance. And with the King of Cups, Queen of Cups, this has a lot to do with emotions. And with this Ace of Wands, there's a major, major attraction, heavy attraction. Uh, the number 10 could be significant. So this person doesn't want to just be friends. Sagittarius, you could be finding out that there's, there's someone that you're friends with. They don't want to just be friends. They feel like you and them need to be together and need to uh, explore something deeper together. So Sagittarius, let's go ahead and get your side to this. Let's see. Yeah, someone wants to have fun with you. Possibly have a child with you. Wow. It says, I want you. 
with the number eight there's that number eight coming back out and it's coming out you know matching up with this false person so i feel like there's somebody that you had a lot of attraction for you may still have this attraction for this person but someone wasn't being truthful about something whether this has something to do with, with what someone knew, um, there was some information that someone withheld for a period of time and the truth came out because I see you looking at this truth and, and realizing that that truth was not what you thought it was or the truth was not what this person thought it was. It says, I want you. There's an attraction of happening here on, on both sides. Let's see. You have light. Oh, there's that light. And I feel like uh, Sagittarius, um, you bring some type of light. You bring a particular, a special type of light into your relationships. And I feel like you make someone feel wanted. You make someone feel needed and wanted here with the star energy and this light. I want you light. And someone could, um, you know, know how to bring out the best in you, uh, Sagittarius. Let's see. I'm too afraid to talk with the number seven. So Sagittarius, you could be withholding, you know, some of your feelings. You could not be expressing everything that you're that you're thinking of, uh, Sagittarius, um, because you want to have some type of balance here with the number seven. You could be connected to a Libra as well. There could be someone who is afraid uh, to talk to you. And it says, look, finding out the true crush me, I'm too afraid to talk. <laughs> so um, this could be a situation where someone doesn't want to talk about what came out. You know, somebody doesn't want to talk about um, the situation, the betrayal, the lie, the the false, the falseness. You know, don't nobody want to talk about that. OK, this could be one of those situations where, you know, um, there could be someone waiting to a better time to discuss something. But let's see. Let's get another. Two, I still don't have all the answers. So Sagittarius, you could be undecided about something or you could be in limbo about whether or not you want to like have some type of connection or create some type of opportunity with with, with this other person or with another person. Okay, Um but I do see this light here and there is a light that's being shined on, on this connection because I feel like there is a lesson that needs to be learned or there's something that needs to be healed in this connection. But it requires courage and it requires playfulness. OK, it, re it requires for um, for things to not be taken so serious because I see children here and children can be very lighthearted. Children can be very playful. So this requires for you and this person or you and th these people, because I do see two people here. Uh, to be honest with one another, but also keep an open mind and, and keep some lightness about the situation because something is serious, but something doesn't have to be detrimental. OK, something doesn't have to um, hurt so bad. Something doesn't have to be so painful. OK, to deal with. All right. Why is the devil here for Sage? Oh, wow. You got the devil with the devil. You definitely could be dealing with the Capricorn or Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So somebody could be feeling very connected to you or they could be feeling trapped even um, to a point or just very obsessed with something. OK, this could be you. Someone could be obsessed with you. OK, why is the Ace of Swords here? There's a truth. Okay, page of wands. This could be dealing with the child. I do see that you're learning, uh, Sagittarius, the truth. You're learning what the truth is, okay, when it comes to a connection, when it comes to even a career situation with the devil here. Let's see. You're learning this truth, and you're you're looking at this truth um, as if it's a betrayal, as if it's, it's, it's something that, you know, like a hurdle, okay? You could be looking at this truth um as if it is something you know unexpected you're not expecting this because your back is turned someone's back is turned when this truth is um happening or when this truth is being revealed let's see why is the five of swords here oh wow look at that conflict coming right back out so you know this truth could make you want to fight Sagittarius or you know there's a truth that could end in a fight okay because someone feels betrayed okay someone um may not 
know how to react to uh, the situation. This is a lot of betrayal. You got the five of swords with the five of ones. This is an absolute fight, okay? There could be uh, something happening verbally that, that isn't cool. Someone is saying something that isn't cool, whether it, it is a truth being revealed or disrespect. And then you have this five of ones here. And I feel like this definitely has something to do with other people. So Sagittarius, you could feel like you've been defeated when it comes to um, those around you being honest with you, um, being fair with you, uh, keeping it 100 with you, um, avoiding conflict with you. And avoiding conflict doesn't necessarily mean, you know, sweeping things under the rug, but, you know, having the respect, having a certain level of respect for you with this Ace of Swords to uh, tell you the truth instead of hide things from you behind your back. So you could have had uh, multiple situations. I'm getting with two or more people with two or more people about trust okay there is a theme of not being able to trust someone here okay why is the three of wands here okay you have the hangman okay so you're thinking of uh, some type of plan some type of idea that you have okay and this idea could seem like it is far-fetched it could seem out of this world it could seem like it, it, it won't happen <laughs> um it isn't realistic especially with this hangman you could be connected to a pisces okay there could have been a pisces uh, in a third party situation okay something led to a fight or disagreement Okay, and you have the Ace of Wands. It could have been some type of sexual connection too, dealing with the Pisces with the Leo. Okay, why is the Ace of Wands here? Why is the Ace of Wands here? Hmm, you're showing up heavy here with this Ace of Wands edge. Oh, you got the Ace of Cups. You're showing up heavy here with this Ace of Wands. Like something is very fulfilling to you. Something um, you know that you want to go after. You know that you want to have. And it could definitely be a relationship. It could definitely be a, a strong sexual chemistry that you have with someone. A physical chemistry. Uh, um, um, intellectual chemistry even here. But I'm, I'm feeling like it's an emotional connection here that you have with the hangman, the Ace of Cups. And then it's followed by strength with the Ace of Wands. Like something is is it's looking really good there's an opportunity for you to create something uh to bring some type of dream some type of idea into fruition and it can also have a positive effect on your relationships as well uh, sagittarius because you do have relationships here with change and there could be a move as well okay why is strength here yeah someone wants to offer you something why is strength here You have the king of pentacles. So there could be a fire sign, uh, earth sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They could have a lot of um, feelings for you. They could be wanting to offer you some type of emotional support, some type of love, some type of opportunity. Could be coming from work as well. It could, it could uh, allow you to express some type of creativity that you have and earn some type of finances here uh, with the King of Pentacles. And then I see the King of Cups. Like someone is not only invested uh, financially, physically into something, but someone wants to invest emotionally into something as well let's see and i and i see the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the day let's see why is the king of cups here okay you have the two of pentacles whatever this is someone wants to balance something out there's someone here who needs to balance out their um the physical aspects of their life with the emotional aspects of their life okay and i see that happening in a, in a positive direction and it's very healing for everyone involved let's see why is the star here hmm you got the page of pentacles death the king of wands and the six of cups someone is thinking about an ending uh sagittarius from your past someone is thinking about an ending this could be an aquarius a scorpio sagittarius aries leo it could be any sign but someone is in is in deep thought about the past with you about how they met you let's see why is the queen of cups here Mm, you got the Ten of Swords. So somebody is thinking about how they hurt you, how they manipulated you, uh, Sagittarius, okay? There is a truth that could have came out about this as well, Sag. And someone is in deep thought about this. And it is something that happened in the past, okay? But I do feel like this is why this um this courage could be a, a challenge for you moving forward because in your relationships with the Six of Cups, 
your past relationships, there was a lot of betrayal, Sagittarius, and it had a lot to do with your heart and, you know, others not really showing up for you how you showed up for them. Other, um, others not telling you the truth, how, how you were honest, um, in a situ in multiple situations here, Sagittarius, I want to get some hidden truth for this King of Wands, because whoever this King of Wands is, no matter what their sign is, with this King of Wands being here, this is your energy. This could also be you thinking about this past situation or these past situations, but I'm feeling like someone is thinking about you, okay? Someone is thinking about your energy and how that energy ended, okay? How they ruined an opportunity here with the Page of Pentacles and something ended, and they're thinking about this. So I want to get... Oh, look, look at that. And you got the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to sit that right there because I definitely feel like this person is thinking about the connection that you and them had or have or uh, that they would like to rekindle or revisit or something here because somebody is literally alone or they feel alone. So I want to get some hidden truth, particularly for this King of Wands, because this is all up and through your energy, Sagittarius, and it has a lot to do with the past connection and it ending in a missed opportunity. Let's see. Tell me more about this King of Wands energy for Sag. Oh, wow. I feel you even though we are apart. Damn. So there could be someone else in the picture here, Sagittarius. Let's get one more for this King of Wands. I remember every detail of that day. So you and this person shared, um, I feel like an amazing, some type of amazing experience at some point, but I feel like this was ruined because there was a truth that was withheld or there was a lie or there was a missed opportunity. Someone mishandled a situation. Someone feels like they mishandled a situation. So I want to get two for you, Sagittarius, because this is your energy as well. And I want to see uh, what is coming out for you. Someone feels you even though you're apart. So I feel like there's a major, and it says feel. So someone, someone's emotions are involved in something, especially with this two of cups, okay? This could be a friendship. This could be a, a romantic connection. It says, I remember every detail of that day. Wow. Let's get two for Sag. Oh, it says, seek professional advice. I left because you told me to. Oh, my goodness. So I feel like, Sagittarius, there's a situation here where someone didn't, like, either chase after you or come after you or put in effort towards this connection when it comes to you. You could have sought out professional advice because of this or this person, um, or you could feel like this person needs to uh, seek out professional advice or you could you could need to seek out professional advice on how to handle the situation, okay? Because I do see this Ten of Swords under the Queen of Cups and no Queen or King of Cups, you know, with such a big heart should be in distress or, you know, feeling feeling in such uh overwhelm so i feel like there could be an overwhelming feeling regarding a past connection that you haven't healed from i do see the star um that ended okay there was a um there was healing because there was some type of healing due to an ending here but it was it seems to, seems to be that it was a traumatic ending okay it was a traumatic experience regardless of something being healing here Wow. So Sagittarius, you may need to seek professional advice or someone around you may need to seek professional advice when it comes to a connection, when it comes to a past connection or how to handle a friendship, a romantic connection or even a work relationship. But I'm feeling like this is more romance and friendship. So there could be someone who needs to be a mediator in a situation and be the person in the middle, Sag. OK, let's go ahead and get three for you. You have soulmate coming out again. Wow. It says great connection relationship. Someone may need to seek professional advice because someone feels like someone is their soulmate. So someone may want to handle a situation very, very carefully dealing with another person. And then you have career. This could also have something to do with careers. And you could find your soulmate in your career or in or um, career could be um, significant when it comes to your soulmate. It says business, success, and advancement, okay? All right, Sagittarius, let's get one more. 
Okay, and you have long distance. So there could be a long distance relationship or you could be traveling long distance. I do see change with this car and the number nine, that's spirituality, but it's also distance, long distance travel as well. So you have foreign themes and distance here. So you could have to travel because of your career. You could meet your soulmate then, or you may have to travel away from your soulmate, away from your person. Um, take it how it resonates, Sagittarius, but it looks like there is a beautiful opportunity involving your career. Okay, and what the challenge could be is that there could be a physical distance or emotionally or mental distance between you and someone as you go after some type of career opportunity. So Sagittarius, thank y'all so, so much for joining. What a beautiful, beautiful reading. I hope y'all enjoyed the messages that came through. I love you guys. This is the Sagittarian Goddess and I'll see y'all in the next one.